hey how you doing it's your girl lauren and welcome wait i did not say my intro right at all rewind pause stiff on them hey how you doing how you doing it's your girl lauren welcome or welcome back to my channel all right bet we got formalities out the way yo we in the original settings wait a minute wait a minute light but anyway hey y'all so okay it is back to school time people are going to college so here's a little tips and trips or aka just college advice for your freshman year I am a senior class of 2022 I've seen little things learned little things so let's get right into it got some notes why am i out of breath oh my god so topic one roommates i've had the same roommate ever since freshman year y'all know my girl nisha so with our situation our coach put us together really and we only met one time before where they brought in all the new recruits and we kind of hung out together that was that but I do recommend take advantage of the roommate selection I guess you want to call it make sure you get someone that you like at least because you are going to be living together the entire freshman year if you guys get along I say sit down with your roommate from the jump to understand each other and to figure out what you need and what your roommate needs so you all don't clash because that's the worst feeling when you have a roommate that you don't like and you have to deal with them really because y'all live in the same room so make sure you get someone that you're cool with and hopefully become friends with because in college you're going to make friends for life trust me all right dorms some schools are different i go to federal state and we have probably like four or five different uh, dorm layouts. So from the jump, the freshman dorms, I never stayed in a freshman dorm, ha. Huh? But the freshman dorm is two levels, both one's all female, one's male, and I think we have one co-ed, or they may have took that one down. But anyway, so it's a whole floor of like 20, 30 rooms, and you get approximately two bathrooms on each end. So a whole floor of people is sharing approximately four, maybe even six bathrooms every day. I couldn't do it. Y'all got it. Y'all can do it though. I got friends that did it. I just couldn't do it. Sorry if you hear a sound. That, that's a Koye. He playing with his food bowl. But the dorm I stayed in freshman year was the athletic dorm. And it was a Jack and Jill setup. So it had two suites and in the middle joined together was a bathroom. So it was Nisha and I, then Chrissy and Kayla, and then we shared one bathroom. And in the bathroom, it was only the shower and the toilet. Our sinks were outside right beside. So if you guys seen my freshman move in, it shows you everything I'm talking about. Nikki's dorm was similar to both the freshman and my dorm combined so hers was a jack and jill setup the same but it was two to three rooms then a bathroom then another bathroom and then three rooms and then they had like a sitting area out front so it was technically what eight ish girls sharing two bathrooms which is the same that we have but it was all in one big conjoined area then the Venus room was what Nisha and I had sophomore year in the beginning of junior year, which was one bedroom, two double beds, and a single bathroom. So everything that we had was private. Like, it was just Nisha and I, no one else, and we had our own personal bathroom that we just customized. So no sharing, no, none of that. And the same thing, the sink was outside. So if you saw my 
sophomore year move in and then you would see the same thing in the dorm I stayed in the end of junior year and my entire senior year is an apartment style we got a kitchen living room four bedrooms or three and then two or yeah both have two bathrooms and then some have a balcony and then some don't the dorm we stayed in well the apartment we stayed in last year didn't have a balcony it was just the steps but the one we stay in this year we're on the first floor so we have a patio so yeah so just make sure if you are able to pick what you want make sure you do your research first because some of these college websites do make it seem glamorous and it's really not so make sure you get what you deserve that that's a fact so joining clubs and sports i do recommend if you're an athlete play your sport and get free money because college is not cheap this twenty thousand plus a year that ain't cheap that's a car like yo no cap so if you're able to play a sport play your sport and get that free money trust me get that free money for organizations i didn't really do any organizations i was just academics and athletics that that was it but organizations really do help and they look good on your resume especially when you get out into the real world that you were so well-rounded and you could handle your organization possibly athletics school and having a social life that really counts like you are that shows your future career or whatever you want to do after college that you are great at time management time management is going to be your friend trust me classes now when i went for orientation which was the summer before our freshman year they already had our class schedule set up for us and it was the standard like freshman seminar and then because i did chorus in high school and middle school so they gave me like chorus i didn't take a math class my first semester and like some other history stuff because that was my thing i wanted to do history as a minor really so yeah but when you get there well at least at my school for orientation we went and they gave us our schedule and the same day we took a math exam really just to figure out what math you were taking so i don't think any of us really took math first semester unless you were like an accounting major or something but that's how it goes now for classes i recommend if you go into college undecided take at least one class in something that you're interested in or you possibly want to major in so at least you still get that credit you're not just taking useless classes your whole freshman year then you gotta play catch up for the next three years or even take summer schools yeah now summer school is not a bad thing like i know in like high school if you had to take summer school you're like oh the special one blase blase no college take summer school summer school will help you either graduate early or your knockout credits faster than you expected i took summer school this past summer for the first time because it was free for us so at my school they gave us free summer school free housing and free food if you stayed on campus i stayed home just because of circumstances so i just had free classes let me tell you easiest thing take summer school if you get the opportunity some schools still you have to pay for them and they're technically cheaper if you get them in the summer so just knock out the credits while you still got a chance Ooh, what is next okay making friends there's really no set in stone thing that you need to do to make friends I majority possibly almost all my friends probably exception of one maybe even two people I've met through somebody or with somebody that knew them and I just became friends with them through that person but I've only made I can think of one friend on my own that no one knew because that person was new and I just befriended them and we became close but other than that making friends is easy just be yourself fresh out of high school going to college and one thing I'm going to tell you, you're not the big dog no more. Yeah, you might have got that state championship ring in high school. Might have been a GOAT. But you in college, you playing with the big boys now. So just test the waters a little. And if it ain't going the way you expect it, switch it up. But always stay true to yourself. 
and college really is about you finding yourself because you're a young adult you're in the real world now you out here on your own no parents no curfew no nothing just stay true to yourself and understand that you have responsibilities and not everyone's gonna like you not everyone's gonna be your friend there's gonna be jealousy there's gonna be controversies just figure out who to stick with and who you can't you can still have friends but they can be your friends and you don't fully trust them i could say like you can't tell them everything is you have to find one person that will stick with you through thick and thin just stick with that one person and you'll be good i promise you you will be straight next thing whoo freshman year i really didn't do a lot of it but spending money so the only thing i really spent a lot of money in is probably a few outfits if we were going to parties especially like halloween stuff like that i didn't have my truck on campus freshman year so we ubered or we just rode with a friend or a teammate if we were all going to the same spot and really we didn't really eat out unless it was like one of our birthdays and we were celebrating that's about it we went to the movies a couple of times but that's not really expensive if you got like the student discount or whatever i had a coupon i still use that coupon till this day till this day so yeah but make sure if you're not working because i didn't work my freshman freshman school year make sure that you save money because you never know when you might need to spend that money like just make sure you you keep money on you sometimes i do recommend keeping cash because these parties might got paid cash or cash up so make sure you straight with money i'm the type i don't like asking my parents for money so if i can find a way to make some a few change i'm gonna try to make that few change to get me by a little bit longer that's it that's it all right parties I've, I've i've had my phase of parties and kickbacks kickbacks i will still go to till this day parties not so much because they're all the same freshman year new to campus new to the scene i say go to parties but but if you go with that person you're leaving with the same people regardless of what they might say what they might do no y'all are leaving together y'all go together y'all leaving together because you never know what's gonna happen out here and just make sure that y'all are safe that that's my biggest my biggest thing when y'all go y'all leave together regardless parties are hot they're sweaty bodies on bodies people on people it's just oh it's a lot so for attire don't wear no heels don't wear no j's don't put on your best fit be comfortable throwing them dingy converse throw on some comfortable shoes because if you're gonna be dancing you're gonna be dancing there ain't no point because people gonna step on your shoes and you're gonna want to swing it, it ain't worth it it ain't worth it i'm telling you second thing watch your exits trust me i done been to too many parties where they're either shooting or they fighting you gotta find your exits keep an eye on your exits and watch where you at watch the people around you because you can see in a party regardless if it is dark you can catch who's staring and who finna swing you can you can peep it i assure you when you've been in as many fights and shootouts as i have you can peep it from a mile away stay aware and stay alert trust me oh god i'm gonna i'm gonna have to see if i can find a video of that night because just just stay aware just just stay aware watch your surroundings and third 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 especially at kickbacks because really at parties drinks don't be passed well at least the parties we go to there ain't no drinks being passed not at all when you go to a kickback once your cup is out your hand don't touch it it ain't your cup no more do not put your cup down once it's out your hand that ain't your cup no more regardless if you had a little sip a little shot nothing it ain't your cup because you never know who gonna slip something in it and you never know the outcome do not pick that cup up no more once it's down it's done for now if you give it to one of your mm, i wouldn't even say that because we we look out for each other and you're a freshman so i don't know if you can trust that person or not but give your cup to a friend that you can trust and rely on that ain't gonna do nothing to your drink 
that's what we do. When we be like, hey, we finna go dance, wash my cup. We be, we be spies. We be secret service for that. All right? That's what y'all gotta do. It's, it's just common sense. Once I come out your hand, that's it. You don't need it no more. Next thing. That sexual intercourse. Sex. All right. Just use protection, honestly. You, mm, just, just use protection. Trust me. Use protection. You don't know what's out here. You don't know who stuck what with where with who. You ain't got time for that. Sometimes they don't wash. Just, just be aware. That's, that's nasty. Just use protection and whoever you're doing it with, make sure you trust them. Pee right after. Don't wait, don't lag. Pee right after. Go take that piss in the bathroom. Just do it right after. Both. Both y'all. Not just females. Everybody do it. Just go pee afterwards. Use protection. Pee. Get tested. I do recommend getting tested. If it's your first time with someone particular, go get tested to ensure you ain't getting nothing. You ain't nasty. You ain't got no little bumps growing out there get tested regardless if you don't feel nothing just still go get tested just to ensure that you are safe you are clean you are 100 percent gucci god told me how to please all right next thing which is aka nine if i'm counting right campus life now don't buy any school merch you're gonna get t-shirts Sweatpants, all that stuff for free. Hats, fans, you're going to get all that stuff for free. Trust me. Get it all for free. My school, we don't... We rarely set up organizations on the walkway. We don't... We have a yard. We technically got two yards. We only use them for homecoming. That's it. Everything else we use, the walkway from the dorms to the calf. That's... That's Hollywood Boulevard right there. So... At my school, everybody knows somebody that know you. The campus is, it's big. It's it's big. It's big. But when you really know people, it's it's not big at all. Because everybody knows somebody that know you. So keep your rep clean. Don't start no beef because this ain't high school. We ain't swinging on campus no more. That ain't it. You are a grown adult. Grow the fuck up and get your bags. That's all I'm going to tell you. But campus life is fun. They do be having activities on campus. Like sometimes they have parties. They have a countdown. Everybody know the countdown. And we have um, like an inflatable night. They be cooking, they have cookouts, ice cream parties, stuff like that. So if you're not in class, I do recommend going out there, mixing and mingling, making friends, doing fun activities, getting free stuff, uh, and just enjoying your college experience, really. That's, that's all I can say. Finally, and the big, most important one, don't stress. Don't phase it. Don't, don't do all of that stuff. My freshman year, all I straight did, class, practice, dorm. I, I really didn't do anything. I, I wasn't antisocial. I just wasn't social. <laughs> That's it. Like, I, I made friends. We hung out. But I wasn't pressed to be up in everybody's face. I didn't want everybody to know me. I, I stuck to myself. I would be in the dorm. And our door really didn't lock unless we put the top lock on. Freshman year, people just walk right in. Like, my sweet mates come in, my friends come in. I be in bed. I still do that to this day. To this day, I be in bed. I just be chilling in bed. That's my happy place. And my bed, freshman year, was the best bed ever. That little twin bed with this comforter on it. That bed spoke life to me. That little tail bed was life. I tell you. Your freshman year bed might be ass and trash. But that bed will get you through life. Trust me. I was always in my bed. And I, <laughs> I had this little tail TV. It was probably the size of my MacBook screen, honestly. But now I got like a regular size TV. If you saw in my junior, well, sophomore and junior year move in. But trust me, 
Everybody thought it was a computer screen. We we just never watch TV or by TV. We always watch those niches, but trust me, your freshman year is going to make memories. Record as much as you can, laugh as much as you can. Trust me, freshman year was by far the best year. And sometimes we'd be like, oh, it was because it's our first year on college life, blase, blase. Freshman year is the best year. Trust me. That's it. That's it. Oh, last thing. Do not feel pressure to do anything you don't want to do. You are your own person. You ain't got to listen to nobody because you is grown. You can do whatever you want. No, 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 no. You can't do whatever you want whenever you want. There, there's still some limitations. Trust me. There's still some limitations. But still enjoy your freshman year while you can. Because, bro, I miss freshman year so much. And now I'm finna graduate and be legitimately in the real world in my major Woo! I ain't ready for it, but if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little 10 things, 10 college advice tools, whatever you want to call it, to be honest. I wrote this at like 2 o'clock this morning, and right now it's 10. So yeah, make sure you like, share, comment down below. If you guys already did your freshman year, please comment down below like your experience, because I really want to know like other people's college experience because mine was different well everybody's gonna have a different experience but just let me know what y'all's was because i really am interested in like what other people experienced their freshman year so yeah i'm gonna see you guys next time